How's it going you guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Ram 2500 build. So we have been driving the truck for a little bit and we did notice a few things we have to address before the truck's 100%. The first being is our carrier bearing. There's a lot of jerking in the drive shaft and then we have to take a look at our brakes. It feels like there's some air inside of those. So let's go ahead and bring the truck around here and get to work, stay tuned. Got this long beast in the garage. Had to raise the RX-7 to give us more room to work with. But here's the support center bracket for the drive shaft. Now let's go ahead and get under there. All right, so we are under the massive rig. We're gonna go ahead and start pulling this drive shaft. We have like four 10 mil bolts right there on the diff. And then here's the main bracket. Got four bolts, I've already put some PB blaster on those. And it's just gonna slide right out of the transmission. So let's go ahead and get this off. Hopefully we don't have any issues with this rust. All right, so we got the drive shaft off. No issues with our bolts. Took about 15 minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this rubber boot off. Got the clamp off of there. And as you can see, the bearing's completely shot. So let's go ahead and get this off and get the new one on. All right guys, we got the bearing off. The hammering didn't do anything except move the rubber around. So we did have to use this shop press. And since it isn't tall enough, I went ahead and rigged some four by fours under there since we are working with the long bed. And then the other issue we have going on is this is the bearing that came in and I went to AutoZone and they offer the same one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to Napa or O'Reilly's to try to get the correct one while my brother is gonna go ahead and clean this up because we can't have this rust going on. bearing in for the truck. Thanks to O'Reilly's on 23rd Street for hooking us up. I snatched it up right before they closed and the difference between the two is the diameter of the drive shaft. So now that we've got primer on those before we scratch them up, let's go ahead and press this bearing on and then we'll be ready to paint them. All right, so we got the bearing pressed on. We use this pipe and a hammer at the very end just to make sure we got every bit of it in. I already got some paint on this one right here. So let's get this one out and make these look brand new. Just like that, we got the drive shafts painted. They're looking really nice. We're gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and put some grease on our splines and then we'll be ready to slip the two together and get it on the truck. What's up guys, next day here and right now we're at the local auto zone. Last night we were looking for some Loctite to finish up our drive shaft bolts and I couldn't find any. So let's go in there and get a new tube and then we'll be ready to install the drive shaft. Let's go. All right, so we got our Loctite. I'm on my way back. So I'll catch you guys in the garage. All right, so we're back in business. Here's our thread locker right over here. And last night we got the drive shaft inside the transmission so we're not losing any more fluid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning these U-joint bolts and then we'll be ready to torque it down and test it out. All right, so our drive shaft is on. It's looking a whole lot better under there and should drive a whole lot better. It's all torqued down. The U-bolts get torqued to 22 pounds and then that center bracket on the cross member torque that down to 50. 
So we're gonna go ahead and let that thread locker set for a little bit before I go test it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these wheels and wash the truck. I don't think we've ever cleaned the wheels. And this one right here looks pretty bad. And then we should be ready to go get an alignment. All right, got the truck all nice and clean. The wheels clean up really good. So now it's time to test out that carrier bearing. I got some tools with me right here. I'm gonna head to the local junkyard to see if I can find this center piece right here. This one right here was glued on with some urethane glue and see if we could get some better looking sun visors. So let's go to the junkyard and see what we could find. Oh yeah, I already feel a difference just from backing up. There's not any jerking in the rear end. Truck definitely needs an alignment, but it drives a whole lot better. Oh yeah, I don't feel any play in the rear drive shaft. Driving one of these big rigs in these back roads is not so fun. Alright, so we've made it. Truck is looking clean. Let's go see what we can find. Here we go. Oh man, these are not better than ours. Oh, this thing has been tore apart. Check out the big old intercooler for this thing. It's not looking so good in here. It's a 2500. Still got the 5.9. Let's keep going. Got a nice Z71 right here. Here we are. Another day in paradise. Got a clean little four door Sahara. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go that way. Let's go. That was a clean looking truck. I forgot to check to see if this one, right out front before we do a lot of walking around, has that little center piece that we need. It's a Ram 2500. Got a cup holder, those always break. Here we go, here's a... Dang, I thought I found one, but this one's actually broke. Seems like this one was flipped over, completely turned over. So yeah, let's go through this other way. Let's see if we can come across any better.
They got all the parts you need. these cars he's got he's got cars and trucks for days I think he said he had one more 2500 up here on the hill can't even get through there I'll try this way so let's go see if we can find him See all the Fords over here. These are all the Jeeps over here. All right guys, so I'm not able to find the Ram, but while I am here, I'm gonna go ahead and get some bolts and screws because you're always looking for those. But there's just so many cars over here. It's hard to find anything, but I'm just gonna do a quick walk around and see if I can find it. If not, I'll catch you guys back in the garage. Guys, look at what we just came across. A GTO. Let's go ahead and see if it's got the transmission in it. Maybe we could use it for the RX-7. Ah, oh, it's gone. Maybe they've already pulled this, so I will definitely ask about this. And then I did find another 1500 right over here. But the sun visors are not any better than what we have. And then that center piece up here is actually different. I don't know why it's got some buttons or something on it, but so that's not going to work. I'm still looking for the other one that he said he had, but we're almost ready to get on out of here, man. That would have been awesome if this had the transmission, like a T56 gearbox. Do need an airbag for a Sentra. Oh, driver's bad. This roof one is good though, so I'll have to come pull that sometime. Dang, check out this A5. What do you guys think about the camber on this thing? And then the stagger tips. Oh. Looks pretty clean. Oh man, these frame rails are destroyed. Yeah, I think they pull all the motors out. 2011. It's in the junkyard. Alright guys, so we're not able to find any other rams or anything better than what we have. So I'm just going to have to catch you in the garage. But I did get a few bolts and clips that we need. You're always looking for. So 
So let's head on out. It's really, really hot out here. So let's get some cool air. Alright guys, so we made it to the good to go tires in alignment. We couldn't find anything at the junkyard for the truck. And I'm surprised this big old thing fit on this rig. But let's go ahead and get it aligned and make it drive a whole lot smoother. Let's do it man. Should be ready to hit the road after this. Man, look. these wheels look shiny. Did you clean them up? Oh yeah, they're looking good, aren't they? They cleaned up real nice. Are these wheels too big for this alignment? Nah, I've seen bigger on here. <laughs> yeah, long bed. Let's get her done. How hard do you think it'll be on this 2500? Uh, it could be a little challenging, but I doubt it, man. Oh, I like those lights right there. Yes, sir. We got the, we got the lights installed on the lift. You know what I mean? That's pretty sweet right there. All right, let's get her done. Nice and straight. Man, it's almost exactly the same on both sides. Is that for the rear? That's the front. So not too bad on the toe. We're gonna go ahead and get that within spec. This is the tools we need right here. It's a 15 inch wrench and a socket. So let's go ahead and get that within spec and get this truck ready to hit the road. Working your magic over here? Yes, sir. Alright, so we got everything aligned on the truck. Our camber and our toe is within spec. Our caster we can't do anything with, but it's not far off. So now let's go ahead and tie in everything up and hit the road. Alright guys, that's a wrap for this episode. We pretty much got the truck 100% ready to go. We just wrapped it up with our alignment and we did get our brakes resolved. We just had to bleed those and we started with that right rear caliper and just worked our way all the way up to the front. So now with the new carrier bearing, our brakes and the truck aligned, we're pretty much ready to hit the road. With all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications. We got some more awesome builds coming your way. Follow us on Instagram at danny.tv. Link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.